Sirens sounding as ambulances cross onto U.S. soil, carrying two American citizens to a Texas hospital after a terrifying kidnapping that left one of them injured and two others dead. We extend our deepest condolences to the family and loved ones of the deceased. The group of four had crossed the border through Brownsville, Texas, into Matamoros, Mexico, seeking a medical procedure, according to family members, when they came under heavy gunfire. Attacks on U.S. citizens are unacceptable. A law enforcement official calling it a likely case of mistaken identity and saying this video shows a group of armed men loading the Americans into a pickup truck. They were not worried about what they were doing in broad daylight. They were not worried about using violence. Citing crime and kidnapping, the U.S. State Department has since October warned Americans not to travel to Matamoros and the surrounding area. The Biden administration today vowing to fight cartel violence. The DEA and the FBI are doing everything possible to dismantle and disrupt and ultimately prosecute the, the leaders of the cartels and the entire networks uh, that they depend on. We have imposed powerful new sanctions against cartel organizations in recent weeks. Mexican officials say the four U.S. citizens were found by joint search actions and that work is underway to capture those behind the kidnapping. And the task forward is to ensure that justice is done. A tragic ending and a stark warning for Americans considering nearby spring break destinations. The incident raises questions for U.S.-Mexico relations with this unchecked brazen violence happening so close to the U.S. border. The White House promising stepped up efforts to prevent dangerous cartel members from crossing into the U.S. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.